Billie Eilish marches to the beat of her own drum, and this Gucci-wearing singer is headed straight for the top, taking her brother, Phineas, with her. When bad guy singer Billie Eilish makes an appearance in interviews and on red carpets, you may have noticed the quiet guy who's usually standing close by. Nope, that's not Billie's bodyguard. You might be surprised to learn that Billie's older brother Phineas O'Connell oozes as much talent as his little sister. These siblings spent a whole lot of time with each other. Billie and Phineas grew up together and worked on Billie's breakout song, Bad Guy. Now, they produce music together, attend award shows, hang out together, and even dress alike. They're odd styles, strange personalities, and often dark lyrics put these young talents in an entirely new category of pop music. And I just wanted it to sound the way that it feels. Billie's first single was back in 2013, when she posted a home recording of the song Ocean Eyes to her SoundCloud page as a free download. The track, according to Global News, was written by Phineas originally for this then-band called The Slightlies, before he produced it with his sister's vocals. She brought life to it that I couldn't believe, Phineas said in an interview with Ones to Watch. Phineas was already making headway with his musical career before joining forces with his sister. In 2013, Phineas had a role on the TV show Glee as the frontman named Alistair of the fictional band New Directions. After Ocean Eyes went viral, Billie was soon picked up by a label and signed within the year when she was just 14. According to the Washington Post, Phineas, despite being only a teenager himself at the time, would attend meetings with agents and managers with his younger sister. In a 2017 interview with Teen Vogue, Billie said how surprised she was that Ocean Eyes went viral and thrust her into the music industry. We had no intentions for it, really, but basically overnight, a ton of people started hearing it and sharing it, Billie told James Corden in an interview that her and Phineas didn't even have a recording studio to work in at the beginning. We made the whole album, and the EP even, in his little bedroom in our house. The siblings then went on to co-write an album's worth of music, working together literally side by side. Phineas told Variety that probably 75 to 80 percent of the songs are written with us sitting next to each other at a piano or with a guitar, singing a melody together. In a recent 2020 interview with Vogue, Phineas said of his close relationship with his sister, we just love each other and are honest with each other, and we speak the same creative language. There's no other person I like working with as much as my sister." Billy and Phineas made their way into the industry with their raw and young talent, but growing up in a musical and art-filled house in Highland Park, Los Angeles didn't hurt their chances. The siblings' parents are both musicians and actors with resumes full of songwriting credits and small TV bits. According to Washington Post, Billy and Phineas were also homeschooled and co-slept in their two two-bedroom home, which allowed them to focus a lot of their energy on their art. This also explains how the brother and sister became so close while growing up. But Billboard reported that Phineas has made it clear that although their parents are talented and worked in the arts, the siblings were not handed fame on a silver platter. When it was suggested that they were only famous due to their parents' involvement in the industry, Phineas tweeted, "...our parents gave us love but knew no one in the record industry." Since Billy and Phineas went viral four years ago, their lives have been a roller coaster of success. When Billy's debut EP, Don't Smile At Me, was released, Phineas was still along for the ride as the record's music producer. Although it takes a large team to produce an album, Phineas takes the creative lead on the tracks. As he told Sirius XM, Yeah, man, how many producers have worked with Billy? Count them. <laughs> I'm super territorial." He said when it comes to producing work for Billy, "...it's mine. I just know her really well." Likewise, Billy idolizes her older brother and respects his talents. In 2019, the singer told Wall Street Journal that Phineas is the most talented person I've ever met in my whole life. And I know a lot of talented people. He's the main reason I wanted to do music in the first place. When the single Bad Guy was released in March of 2019, fans were slightly shocked by some of the more mature and dark lyrics. The catchy chorus suggests that the then 17-year-old Billy might seduce your dad. Those lyrics sound especially odd when it's revealed that, like most of Billy's chart toppers, the song was co-written by none other than Phineas. Some might have been a little freaked out by the deeper vibes, but Phineas obviously knows what sells. And since Billy doesn't seem to get into any trouble outside of her songs, we can assume the bad guy is just a fictional character. Nonetheless, bad guy excited the siblings' fan base and gained a whole array of of new listeners and fans. Bad Guy had the whole world asking, 
Who's that girl with green hair? In 2018, Billy's and Phineas's collaboration, Ocean Eyes, went platinum. Billy obviously trusts her brother's work as his collaborative efforts pop up all over Billy's budding career. When she announced the release of her 2019 full length album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go?, it wasn't surprising to see Phineas listed on the production and writing credits. Billy also told Billboard that the now 22 year old Phineas diversified his talents when he worked on the sound mixing on the album as well. As if the sibling don't spend enough time together writing and producing, Vulture revealed that the album was also recorded in Phineas' home studio in LA. Phineas revealed to the Washington Post that Billy prefers their more intimate writing sessions to working in big studios with older producers who she doesn't know personally. This method worked when earlier this year, Billy released the orchestra-backed track No Time to Die, co-written by Phineas for the new James Bond film. All their hard work paid off when at the 2020 Grammy Awards, Billy picked up five golden statues. The singer only lost out in one of the categories she was nominated in. Between the siblings, they walked the red carpet with 11 nominations. Phineas took home the award for Producer of the Year. Billy took home the Best New Artist Award as well as the coveted award for Album of the Year, which she accepted alongside her brother. Billy took to the stage in a black and gold oversized Gucci suit with a lime green puffed sleeves to match her hair while Phineas wore black and blue floral tuck. Some serious fashion choices for the first time nominees. Billy told Teen Vogue in 2017 that she loves to write fictional songs that aren't totally real. Basically, it's about doing what you think is right and cool and not following what other people want you to do. The singer and her producer brother definitely do things their own way, including their outfit choices. The singer told Teen Vogue, I like being able to express myself with clothing. I don't mind being judged, so if someone doesn't like what I wear, I'm okay with it. Billy and Phineas aren't afraid to be different and sometimes a little weird. It's working for them. Billy said in her Teen Vogue interview, I also hope to show people that they shouldn't care what other people think of them. I am really weird and you know what? I like it. It's special to me and it's fun to be weird. It's you and it's your life. Do what you want. Billy has also said that she doesn't like the idea of genres and is okay with her music stepping outside the boundaries of regular pop music. In a 2017 interview with Billboard, Eilish said, I hate the idea of genres. I don't think a song should be put into a category. When it comes to fashion, the siblings love labels, but like their take on pop music, know how to make it their own. Billy posed for Vogue magazine earlier this year, mixing Versace, Marc Jacobs, and Gucci items with standout prints and bold colors. The singer opened up to GQ magazine about her gender-bending outfits of baggy tracksuits and oversized men's t-shirts. She admitted, sometimes I dress like a boy. Billy's Academy Awards outfit of white Chanel pantsuit and sneakers combo was also quite shocking against the sea of skin-tight ball gowns and sky-high pumps. Phineas also pushes the boundaries of fashion with his colorful, tailored suits. The siblings brought their love of fashion to a fall 2019 stint on the late-night comedy show Saturday Night Live. The pair wore matching Gucci outfits. Of course, the siblings opted for their signature cuts, with Billy going for a baggy fit and Phineas rocking a tailored look. Billy and Phineas have caused a ripple on the pop music scene through more than their unique fashion choices. Billy won the Billboard Woman of the Year award at just 17, and the publication reported that Billy has disrupted the entertainment industry. Her ability to speak to the Gen Z population, making teens and young adults feel accepted in today's society, has quickly allowed Eilish to grow to the top of the charts, breaking the mold for this generation with her eclectic hair color and sharp attitude. Billy's style has definitely changed the landscape of Gen Z fashion. It wasn't until she stepped on the scene that we started seeing teens forgetting about the belly showing short short style of a few years ago. Billy's style of baggy clothes, fun hair colors, and minimal makeup shows kids that dressing as a girl doesn't have to mean trying to look seductive or older. Although Billy works exclusively with her brother, Phineas now has a list of music icons he's worked with. His resume includes talents like Selena Gomez, Halsey, and Camila Cabello. Phineas has hit major success working with Billy, but he told Vogue that he has plans to branch out in the next few years. I can focus on other dreams of mine. I really want to do music work in film and theater in the next five years. As for Billy, the singer unfortunately was forced to cancel her 2020 tour dates due to the coronavirus. Phineas has already started to set up his life independent from his sister. He has a house, a dog and spends time with his girlfriend, YouTube star Claudia Seleski, who some fans think bears a striking resemblance to Billy. Just in case you're worried that Phineas doesn't have his sister's best interest at heart, the producer proved otherwise when he refused to work on the track Everything I Wanted. The song was inspired
inspired by Billy's struggle with mental health, and the lyrics go to a dark place. Phineas told New York Times that he wasn't comfortable enabling those feelings. At 18 and 22, the brother-sister duo are still just kids, but are busy showing the world that they are a family to be reckoned with. Do you think it's strange that this brother and sister spend so much time together on top of being work colleagues? Would Billy be where she is today without her brother, or vice versa? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about your favorite stars. Thanks for stopping by the taco and we'll see you next time.